And now everyone, for our next competitor, Mustafa al Hadhami. So let me start with this. Who is excited that UMBC beat Virginia? Yeah. I was actually watching TV, and ESPN gave us 1% chance that we could beat them. That is very remarkable, because while it can be done, not so many 16 seed teams are so lucky. Now, I want you to think of the 16 seed team as a sepsis patient. Sepsis is a blood infection, at least starts as a blood infection, and it is very, very deadly. What makes it even worse is if you don't give the patient proper treatment after 36 hours, the survival rate is less than 1%. While it can be done, not so many people are so lucky. The only way to give proper treatment is actually to give proper antibiotics. And the only way to determine the proper antibiotic is by a blood culture. There is one problem. Blood cultures take two to three days to develop, and that is very long. What I decided to do, I decided to work on my own method that is much faster. So what I did, I built a device that can automate a cell viability assay. In other words, it uses an indicator dye called resacerin. Resacerin is a blue dye, which is very weakly fluorescent. Now, in the presence of bacteria, it actually turns pink, which is very highly uh, fluorescent. It is a simple idea. All I do is I measure the fluorescence, plot it, and then measure the slope. If the slope is high, we have bacteria that is alive. So I finished my first prototype. I test for bacteria. I got great results. I got great slopes. Now, what happened next is I needed a negative control. I tested that, and I find bacteria. In the end, I realized that I had used the glue that was actually affecting my uh, reaction. So I came up with a new method. And what I did with this new method is I used ethanol to bond two acrylic sheets. And with that acrylic sheet, there was no interference. So now I had to test for antibiotics. So I started getting blood samples and exposing the blood infection with the right antibiotic killed all the bacteria. And it only took one hour. The device is very, very simple. All you have to do is take your sample, inject it into the microfluidic cassette, take the microfluidic cassette, put it into the device, click start, and you get your results in one hour. Now, this is cheaper, this is faster, and much simpler than blood cultures. In other words, for sepsis, this is life. Thank you very much. <laughs>